What's going on everybody? My name is Genes, bringing you guys part 2 for my 100% playthrough on Luigi's Mansion 3. As always, if you do enjoy the content, support the channel by scrolling down a little bit, smash that like button, and clicking that big red subscribe button. So guys, in the last episode, we actually started the intro, got our little vacuum, fought a few ghosts, and actually started this game. So guys, in this episode, we're going to be following the polter pup upstairs and checking out what we gotta do next but first of all i want to go in here we can actually open this up i'm doing a little new little mechanic right there and as you can see we can actually flash this little thing right there and boom flash that up and open up this and look at this we got ourselves a nice little gem right here which is just awesome and dandy look at this we're gonna rack up this gold too while we're at it getting all of that stuff yeah boy we can actually hit x and pick up this gem we're gonna be collecting a few gems today some gold and moving on with the main story right here but we're actually gonna go over here and pick up this key too right here and then start sucking in all this extra stuff right here because I believe there should be extra cash just floating around. That's usually like how Luigi's Mansion games work. There's cash everywhere in all different nooks and crannies of the game. What we got? Anything over here? Let's try one of these. Yeah, see there's some cash. I told you guys. I told you guys. But I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough as I am a lot actually. It's so much fun. It's been very, very well so far. So we're just going to keep moving along here and keep doing our thing. So if we actually move up here, we're going to follow the polter pup upstairs. And I'm guessing we're going to need this key for this door because there he goes. He's going to head in there. But we're going to follow the... We got some coins just chilling here. We're going to collect them up. Yeah, boy. Yeah. What you want? What you want? What's this? What we got in here? Yeah, more coins, baby. More coins for us. But we got another crack in the wall. We can actually take a look in here. Oh, and look at this. We got ourselves a nice little gem right there. Yeah. Got some money. Oh. Yo, there's a nice little spider there that actually scared Luigi. But now that we know there's a gem, it's in this door to the left. So let's go. Let's go try to get it. Well, we got ourselves this key. Let's go. Let's open up this door and get grooving along with this game, baby. Let's go. Guys, the graphics for this game is awesome. And it's just like Odyssey. Like, it just looks phenomenal. And to see Luigi. Whew, my God, I've always been a fan of Luigi Mansion games. I hope everybody's enjoying this playthrough. <gasps> Bro, our boy Professor Egad got trapped in a painting too, which is crazy. But wasn't there the gem right to the left here? I believe there was. But if you guys actually take out your thing and start blowing up here... I believe you can spin these little... This thing looks like a turbine. Can I actually aim it forward? Let's turn it back this way. There we go. Look at that. Let's try blowing it the other way. Can we blow it this way? Let's lean it more to the left or something. Move back a little bit. Do we have to suck it or something? Get up here. This looks like a turbine. See, it's wiggling. It's got to be something. It's got to be something, ladies and gents. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on. What is going on? Move a little this way. Maybe do... Maybe do we have to use the other one? Maybe do we have to suck? There, there we go. We have to suck and then it starts to turn. And as you can see, it is connected to that door. And it opens up a turbine. See, I was blowing. I would, thought, I would think you would have to like blow the turbine and everything. But now we can actually open this up right here. And grab ourselves this gem just chilling on the table. Let's get it. Let's go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We can actually take stuff off, I believe. Yeah, we can. We can actually pull it back and just yeet it off with A. But I don't think there's anything in there. We're just going to make our way up to the polter pup. And check out Egad, dude. He got trapped in a painting by King Boo. Look at him. That's our boy. He helps us out with everything. We got to get him back. All right, where you going, polter pup? Where you going? You're going to... Okay, we're going this way. We're following you, dude. We're following you, buddy. So we're going to make our way inside this door and actually try to find a way to actually save Egad in this episode. So let's keep going here. What's up? What's up, polter pup? <laughs> <laughs> I love how you can stun him. Yo, that's awesome. Nice little touch. But we're going to open this up. We got any gold in here? Oh, yeah. Give me all that. Give me all that. We're actually going to make our way inside this room because Polter Pup is in there. Oh, what you mean? We need a key? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? All right, let's head inside this room then. This is our next option right here. Yes, this one is unlocked. As you can see, there's a mask. So, obviously, that was someone who worked here. Ooh, big bag of gold. Give me that. What we got in here? Did we get that? Let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, yo, look at all this gold we are racking up right here. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. It's not even gold. It's, uh, what's it called? It's cash, but we got this little dress right here. I can see there's, like, a safe-looking thing behind it. Yes, sir. Let's pop that open. Get this extra cash. What's inside here? What we got inside here? Woo! Another gem, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. So, guys, if you guys couldn't tell already, this guy, I mean, this game is a like a open world kind of like puzzle solving thing so it's pretty cool oh we just knocked that over and got some gold which is cool not anything on this table that we can collect nah nothing but if you look in this mirror you can see there's a little like light thing over there so if we actually use our light we can actually unlock it. it's gonna send electrical current over here and unlock us the key let's get it can i grab it now it's just gonna pop out for us but yes let's go like i was saying this game's like a puzzle solving game oh look at this we got all this different stuff right here like as you can tell there, we had to solve the puzzle in order to get the key. Give me all that gold. We collecting it all, baby. We collecting it all. Let's grab this key right now and keep moving forward with this. Let's go unlock that door now. All right, let's go. Let's go, baby. 
Let's go, let's go. I'm hyped, dude. I am hyped. Oh, look what we got outside. We got these ghosts hanging some Luigi wanted signs for gold. So we're gonna have to give him a quick little smack in real quick. What's up? How you guys doing? I'm actually gonna blow him away to get started right here. Yeet. And then we're gonna take on one one on one here. Get in here, buddy. Get in here. What you want? Slam. Slam. Oh, you can use them to slam other ones, which is awesome. What? Yo, I didn't know that. That made it so much easier. I took the other one, started slamming the one with that one, and like took its health down to like nothing. Let's go, baby. Let's go. We're gonna collect the gold that they dropped real quick. Now we're just gonna head inside this door real quick, because now that we got the key. Look at this. Yeah. Boom. I like how he turns it, and the key just disappears. <laughs> That's hilarious. But now we can make our way inside this room right here. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I actually want to suck this up. What we got here? Boom. It's not like that. Oh, we got all these rats and stuff. Yo, get out of here, rats. What you fools want? What we got here? I see we got a safe. Hey, there's the polter pup. But we got that safe. Let's take this down first. Can we get this thing? We can't latch on to this thing. There we go. I was trying. I was trying. <laughs> Boom. Latch that down. Anything in here? Let's start taking this stuff down. Oh, we got a piggy bank. Let's shoot this at the wall. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> Look at all these boxes. I think those things are pearls, not uh, marble balls. I think they're pearls, like valuable pearls. That gives us a bunch of cash and all that, but let's start hitting all this. Start taking all this down. Mm. Any cash here? A little bit of cash here. But we're actually just going to flash this thing and see what's inside this safe. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh, it must be something important. Cut to a cutscene. What we got here, ladies and gents? What do we got? Show me the money. What is it? it looks like books and what's that thing? Ooh, a new light bulb. Must be something cool. A new little gadget or something from the Ouija, baby. Let's go. What's it do? Oh, it's like the rainbow light. I remember this from Luigi's Dark Moon and the original one. You can actually use this to unlock paintings and all that. So there's your little hint to use it at the painting right here. Oh, Poltopop's going to give us a little little thing. If we use X, it'll actually turn our new flashlight. And we can actually unlock the painting. So I guess we're going to have to go back and get Mr. Egad with it. But yeah, let's collect all this gold right here. And all this different money and all that. It's actually, there's there's a room back here, as you can see on the left side. But if you make your way right here, you can actually bring out your new light and actually shine it on hidden items that you cannot find. And then you got to collect all these little things. And then, boom, look at this. You unlock hidden items. So there we go. We just unlocked the chest. We're going to open up. What we got inside here? Woo! More gold, baby. Give me it all. Give me it all, baby. Oh, my God, dude. I cannot wait to see how much gold we get by the end of this game. It's going to be awesome. We got anything over here? We got another chest over here. Actually, make my way just walking past here. There we go. Dude, I love this game. I always love collecting games and exploration games, and this one just is on top for me. I think this is going to be one of my favorite Switch games. All right, let's get out of here now. We can actually start making our way back. But before we even do so, I actually want to head back in this room and see if there's any secret items or secret, like, things that we can unlock with our new light bulb. So let's uh, look around here. We got anything? We got anything? 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 What about over here? Oh, we got something. We got something. See, I knew it. I just knew it. All right, now we just need to suck all these boys up here. Get in here, little things. There we go. We can unlock this. What we got in here? What's this? What's this? And get some more gold. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, I just had a feeling. I was just like, yo, there's got to be something over here. Well, let's shine this again. Oh, another one right here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm actually going grab that heart real quick because we're running low. Get out of here. Well, we're not running low. We lost a little bit. But this unlocks a ghost. What is this thing? What is this thing? Looks like a gold ghost. Get over here, boy. Get over here. Wham. Wham. Yo, he drops mad gold. He drops mad. He drops gold bars and all that. That's awesome. Let's go. Stun him again. He's ours. Get out of here, buddy. Drag him back. You. 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 Oh. Yo, dude, this boy drops mad gold. I'm going to just suck all that up. Let me get these gold bars before they disappear. Get out of here, boy. Woo. Sucked him up. And, dude. I never seen a ghost like that. It's a gold ghost. It gives you tons of gold, which is awesome. We got anything else to find? Oh, we have another chest right here. Yo, this game is awesome so far. There's so much things to do and collect. Yo, give me all that. No, what you want? Why you gotta hit me, bro? Why you gotta hit me? Let's open up this chest. We got more gold. Oh, we got hearts and a pearl. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. All right, let's head out now and actually head back. Now that we got that, um, actually, is there anything over here? We got this thing right here. We got another door. We got more gold. Let's go through this door and see what's inside this door real quick. Let me get all this. Get all that paper, bro. Luigi, a rich man. Luigi, a rich man. Oh, this door is blocked by stuff, and Luigi cannot make it through. So we're actually just going to make our way back to Professor Egad and go unlock him now that we got that new light bulb. So let's go, buddy. Let's go, pull the pup. We're this way, buddy. 
I like how he just jumps through walls. <laughs> it's so funny. But now we're just gonna bring out our new flashlight and actually shine this on our boy, Professor Egad. And heal him back to life. Let's go. Dude, he's so funny. Look at his little hair, dude. He has one little spike in his weird glasses that look like trash bins. <laughs> and he talks funny. Dip it, dip it. Dip it, dip it. <laughs> our boy. Ah, if it isn't Luigi, you are precisely the last person I expect to find here. Hold that thought. Now isn't the time... Now isn't the time to catch up. What What matters is you'll do nicely. Come on, Luigi. Get me out of here. This hotel is filled to the brim with ghosts. Let's make a run for it. No, Luigi's sick of this. <laughs> what was that? All of your friends have been captured? And you can't just abandon them here, you say? You're the same as ever, I see. A bit of a handful. <laughs> Yo, dude, it's too funny. Okay, I'm not thrilled about it, but I, Professor Elvin Gad, have an idea. First things first, Luigi, we have to get to my car. Will you take me there? Yeah, we'll do it. Hey there, hey, there's the Poltergust G00 you're wearing. You took that out of my car, right? Oh, so that was his car. We've got to get back to the garage underground. Let's go. All right. You said it, buddy. You said it. We're going to make our way down to the garage now with Mr. Egad. So, how are we going to do that? I guess we're just going to have to backtrack our way back there. Let's go. Let's take it. Let's go to the garage, baby. Hey, Luigi. Take a look over there. Let's see. What, what we got, dude? The elevator. The elevator. The elevator will get us to the garage in an instant. Let's hurry up before the ghost finds us. Okay, so now we can take the elevator, so we're just going to make our way that way. Come on, Professor Egad! Onward! We got anything? I guess we can't go through there yet. But we're just going to keep chilling, making our way towards this elevator. Can we take down these signs? I'm sick of looking at them. You can't find me. Oh, we got some gold and stuff. What we got here? Oh, we're just going to get that out of the way right here. Oh, look at all that gold. Hey, Luigi, look at that. It's money and lots of it. Even with all the dangers here, I'm sure we agree that money is still important. The ghosts don't seem interested in grabbing it. What's the saying? You can't take it with you. Well, I definitely want it anyway. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled and grab as much as you can. You know, while you're capturing ghosts and saving your friends. Multitasking. You got it, dude. We were already on that, buddy. But we're just going to pick up that gold bar. I'm not too worried about the one coins. And we're going to make our way inside this elevator right here. Clicking this button. Let's get in it. Come on, Professor Egad. We got to make our way down to the garage, buddy. Let's go. We can actually hit this button. Look at this. Of all the... Someone has removed all the other elevator buttons. What's going on here? Hmm. A mystery for later, I suppose. Go ahead and give that B1 button a push. Alright, you got it. We can actually just move it and hit A to confirm what floor we want to go through. So I'm guessing all these floors are different, like... Whoa, there's so much to do. We got it. There's so many floors. I guess we're going to take them all on. That's crazy. It didn't seem like any of your friends were trapped in second floor with me. They must they must have been taken to one of the floors higher up in the hotel, which means, yeah, we're going to need those elevator buttons. And my boy, Professor Egan, look at him. <laughs> I like how we can run around this elevator waiting for it. It's like kind of like a cool little loading hub world. But we make it back down to this little place right here that we've been to before. This is where we went to get our poltergeist. Oh! A little vacuum thing. Yo, he's laughing over there. We're scared out of our mind. Let's go. But wait a minute. Yo, look at this. We got a gem on the wall. Yes, dude! Our new flashlight can actually unlock ourselves this gem right here. We can pick it up. So as you can see, there's different gems. And they represent the gems for each floor. Just all different colors. I think there's seven per floor, maybe. Or maybe a little bit less. But we're going to make our way back into the garage right now. And see what's going on here. Oh, dude. Look at this boy. Oh, look, and his mask and his suit's over there. So this was the guy who was welcoming us. They were ghosts all along, like I said in the beginning. But look at Egad run away. We got to do all the work. Look at that. He pushes that out the way. Bro, he's picking up luggage. But what I like about this game the most is each enemy and ghost have different fighting mechanics, which is just awesome. So we're going to see a new ghost here. And it looks like his mechanic's picking up luggage and throwing it at us. So let's go. Can we flash him? No, we, we cannot flash him, I'm guessing, because he has luggage blocking him. But he has 250 health. We're just going to keep sucking him in here. Keep giving him a whapping. Wham! 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 Yo, get out of my face, dude. I love that whole slamming mechanic. It's new It's new to the Luigi Mansion universe. But where does this boy go? Oh, there he is. He's hitting right there. But he picked up luggage right there. I don't think we can flash him. No, we cannot because he has luggage and blocking him. So we, we, we got away from the throw it or drop it or something. There we go. He throws it. Now we can stun him and suck him up again. Come on. We're going to finish him off here. Yo, what you want, fool? Wham! 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 <laughs> Get in here, boy. Get in here. 
Yo, dude, that's sick how he grabs hat at the end. Oh, what is this? Bro, what is that? Just exploded into some gold things. What are those things? What? Dude, that's sick. What are these things? Let's go check them out. Oh, they look like the elevator buttons. Okay, so this is how we get the different floors. That's cool. That's cool. We got one and what is that? Five? Yeah, one and five. All right. All right. That's pretty cool. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Oh, ho. Those are definitely the elevator buttons. I never would have guessed a ghost had taken them. But there are only two. Maybe there are other ghosts out there with the rest of the buttons. Yeah, if I had to guess. No matter, let's go to my car. I've got something very interesting that I want to show you. All right, let's make our way to your car, Professor Egan. What do you got to show me? Better be something cool. Dude, the pup's the man. I love the polter pup. Look at him. <laughs> he cracks me up. But yo, dude, I love this game, man. I'm having so much fun. This is probably going to be one of my favorite Switch titles, I swear. Oh, we got... What you got? What is that thing? Are we getting a new item? Look at that. Oh, he's saying no touchy. No touchy. This is his thing. But yo, I can't wait to see how decked out we will be at the end of this game. Like, I just want to see every last item Luigi will have. Like, it's going to be crazy, I bet. Look at him. He puts this thing on the ground. What is this? Is that like a bomb or something? What? What we got? What we got? In a minute. Bro. It's a lab. It's a, It was like a portable lab or something. And it looks like Egan. Look at the top. It looks like his face and everything with the eyeballs and all that. Look at Luigi's face. He's stunned. He's stunned right now. He's like, come on in. <laughs> that is awesome. Look at this, guys. That's crazy. All right, let's go in here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, my boy Egad coming in clutch, baby. Coming in clutch. What we got? Hee hee hee. Welcome to my lab. This is another of my brilliant inventions a portable laboratory. Like I said, <laughs> it's sturdy, safe, and air conditioned. I always knew I'd need this one. A good thing I brought it along with me, right? Hmm. You want to know what I'm doing in this hotel? It's a bit of a long story, but in short, I was tricked. I got an invitation from someone claiming to own this hotel. They said they had a precious collection of ghosts gathered from all over the world. No self-respecting ghost researcher would have passed up on such an appealing offer, obviously. I accepted their invitation, but when I arrived, the invitation was only a ruse. They captured me and took my precious ghost collection. Ugh, that includes all the ghosts you worked so hard to catch me before. Are you kidding me? Even King Boo. Losing him really got under my skin. He's my favorite. Huh? Come on, Egad. Really? We caught all those ghosts and you lost them all? What? They released King Boo? Uh, that hotel owner. What has she done? Luigi, you are our only hope. Against all odds, without any hesitation, at any cost. Get my ghost collection back. And speaking of ghost collections, why don't you give me all your ghosts you captured so far? All right, man. Here you go. Take them up. Yeah. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> I wonder if it will show how many ghosts we collect at the end. All right, keep on catching those ghosts. Oh, and be sure to come back to the lab. I'll set, I'll set up the gallery so you can view the ghosts that you captured. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, My boy brought a portable lab with him. <laughs> he threw that down. He was like, building. <laughs> hmm, what's with that look, Luigi? Am I forgetting something important? Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot about saving your friends and family. Completely and totally forgot. <laughs> Regardless, to find ghosts and your friends, you'll need to explore this hotel. To help you out, I'll give you one of my greatest inventions yet. Mm, what is that? I call it the Virtual Boo. VB for short. <laughs> it's a state-of-the-art virtual reality device fitted with, fancy, with a fancy red scheme. Really cutting-edge stuff. And red is all the rage, you know? Just wait until I finish the marketing materials on this. It'll fly off the shelves. Hee hee hee. You can use VB. You can use the VB to communicate with me at any time. Hey, maybe we can test out the communication systems later. Press the start button to look into the VB. It'll display your current objective for you too. It's quite useful. And oh, I have one more thing to give you. Okay, so the VB is kind of like a map and all that. Kind of like shows us what we have to do. It's like a, it's like a list, like a checklist. 
The very first thing you need to do is install this elevator tracker inside the elevator for me, okay? All right, you got it, dude. You guys know, you know what you got. I'll do anything for you, buddy. <laughs> As for what it is, I'll tell you later. Go on and get it installed. Head for the elevator. I'm counting on you, Luigi. Okay, so now we have to go set this up. Oh, look at this. It's like, this is like a title screen. Okay. Now we go back to the hotel right here. Get moving along here. Look at that. Now we have two elevator buttons in the top left corner. Do we got anything over here? Oh, what you want? Get out of here, buddy. Get out of here. Oh, look. We got a plunger. Wow, Bax and I just hit that button. Look at that. We have a plunger now. That's awesome. I guess he gave it to us. Let's go. You know, get over here, spider. I'm getting sick of you. <laughs> Suck them up real quick. They dropped some cash. But look in the top right. We have a map now when we're just walking around. Can we hit the start button? See what's going on? What is this? We got the service hallway. So this is a map. Okay, cool. Cool. So we get maps now. We have a start menu, which is cool. And we're going to make our way back this way to the laundry room because we can actually get this gem now with the plunger. Look, we can actually shoot this plunger in there. Suck that string up and pluck that thing out of here. Let's go. Give me that gem. Let's go, baby. Give me that, boy. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Let's go. Anything else in here that we can get? Maybe some extra gold and all that? Let's just, let's check these things. Can I, can I actually stick the plunger in this one and open this one up? Can we? Oh, we can! And there's actually gold bars and stuff up here in cash. Let's just suck all that up. Get over here, boys. Give me all that. Give me all that. I actually want this gold bar. Gold bars are awesome. What's in here? We have a little, little thing right here. Oh, a bunch of towels that just miraculously fly out. <laughs> Got this gold bar right here. Give, him, give me all that stuff. Yeah! Give it all to me, baby. Oh, my God. This thing's turning. Can we turn it? Can we turn it? Oh, yeah. It opens up. See, dude, this is what I love about this game. There's so many, like, little tricks and everything, little mysteries to unlock in here. I think it's awesome. I saw some gold under here. Let's pick all that up. Get over here, boys. Get over here. What we got in here? Can we move these things? Yeah, we can. I see another gold bar on the shelf. Let's grab it real quick before we move on. Hey, gold is... I wouldn't say it's very important, but like consider 100% in the game, like you can get no gold and actually beat the game. It just it just determines your rank at the end of the uh, when you beat the game. It said like your gold determines your rank. That and the gems and all that determine your rank, which is awesome. So what I like to do is explore everything, get all the gold, and get top rank for this game. So we're just gonna be keep moving along. But we're gonna keep moving along here. I want the spider again. Get in here, buddy. <laughs> get all that gold right there and keep moving along right here. Yo, spider can hit me. Get out of my face, spider. But like Professor Egad said, we're going to get moving to the elevator and install his new little device that he gave us. So we're going to head inside here and see what's going on here. We're just going to hit the X button. And look, here's his little device. Oh, it just goes off right away. Dude, Luigi's expressions are the best. They did a perfect job with him. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And let's see what this new invention does. Let's see it. Look at it. It's like a little TV. And he's on the screen. <laughs> Hello, Luigi. It seems like the installation was a success. Now then, as to what the device actually does, well, it extracts map data about the floors from the elevator. Then it takes all the data and displays it on the monitor. Isn't that great? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> hey, why don't you take those elevator buttons you collected and insert them into the panel? Let's go, let's go. So I'm guessing now we can go to different floors and explore more. Let's go. But still, look at all the floors we can unlock. This game is huge. Oh my god. And I can't wait to actually play online, which I will be streaming once I beat the game. So follow me on Twitch. Link will be in the description below. <laughs> we'll be doing the, uh, what is it? The, the scare scraper where you can do like online ghost battles. Looks awesome. Now you're able to view the map of a new floor. There's another surprise, Luigi. That device links with the virtual boo. The map that is automatically sent to the VB. So now you can view the map anywhere, anytime. If you open the map from the VB menu, you can check out an even more detailed map. Don't go forgetting about it, okay? All right, man. Let me break it down for you, Luigi. The map is super helpful for exploring new floors. While while you are exploring the hotel, you should hunt down the elevator buttons. Those buttons will let you reach new floors right for exploration. Oh, and you might find your friends there. Hee hee hee. One more thing before you go, Luigi. We need to go do a quick test of the VB communication system. Open the VB with the plus button and select the EGAD hotline. I'm counting on you, Luigi. All right. So we'll do exactly what you said. We're going to hit the... EGAD hotline, see what it does. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is EGAD, resident genius. Am I coming through loud and clear? Fantastic. It appears that the VB communication system is working perfectly. That means you can use this to contact me at any time you need to. If you, if you feel the need to talk to me, just do exactly what you did for the test. Luigi, I may be able to offer you some advice in a tough situation. Oh, you can also check out the log using the very same system. Let me know if 
if that's why you're calling and you'll be able to see your progress. Okay, testing my inventions is fun, but we should get back to work. And speaking of work, I have a job for you. Of course you do. <laughs> so you were able to take the elevator up to the fifth floor now, right? I was actually staying in a room on that floor. There's a briefcase in my room. Could you fetch it for me, Luigi? My room number is a oh, blast. What was it? Eh, you got a map. You'll figure it out. <laughs> Good luck, Luigi. Try to come back alive. Hee hee hee. All right, so that's what we got to do. We got to head up to the fifth floor, but we're going to be taking that on in the next episode. So if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.